Food. You gotta give them food, buddy. Look. Look. You want some? Here you go. Here you go. Put your hand out. Okay, here. Here you go. He's got you. You wanna go in and see it? Here, baby. He didn't like that. You gotta hand it to him. Here you go. It's up to that baby one down there. <laughs> it can't get in the way. I'll get in the way. Hi, baby. How'd you go? How'd you go? How'd you go? How'd you go? You're just going to town. You're going to take it with me. Here, you're working awfully hard for that. We'll give you Wait, some. Let's go in here. Come in here. Gabe's going to go in and see the goats. Let me get it adjusted. Here we go. So pretty. Take you in. So pretty. Oh. Uh, you go in here. To the tiny baby. Y'all, look at how precious that little baby is. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. Now, if you guys ever feel like 
you don't fit in, people don't like you, just come to this zoo and you like get an instant paparazzi. They will follow you all around this fence line. <laughs> and the camel. No grains. Apples only. Hey there. Hey. Hey there. What you doing? Yeah. That feel good. That feel good. That feel good. <laughs> he getting the camera. You want to feed it? Look. Huh. Wow. Yeah, he's getting plenty. Come down here. Come down here. Come here. Come here. You want to touch him? Okay, here you go. You were good. Thank you. You want to touch it? Look at the horns on this guy. Huge. Huge. You trying to ram me? Are you trying to ram me? He's a big guy too. Highland cattle from Scotland. So, pot bellied pig. Gabe is over here talking to a pig. Hey, Daddy, what Daddy is? Pig. Did he talk back? And the zebra. Hey. Come here. You ain't got no toes. <laughs> oh, zebra. Are you, what are you trying to say? Okay, up here we have some Sika, Sika, however you say it. I'm really not sure. Hi. Oh my hand. Beautiful elk here. Gabe's going to free him. He's trying to figure out how to pick the lock.
Thank you for being patient. This one's a little demanding. That's awfully demanding, sir. Here we have a llama. Are you a llama llama rib pajama? Are you a llama llama rib pajama? Gabe wants to eat the apple. <gasps> wow! Giant Flemish rabbits. Is that what that said? We have some apples to give them. Good old rabbit. Careful, buddy. Come on, bunnies. I think. I think. There you go. That's pretty interesting. A red breasted and golden pheasant named Mr. Trump from China. Or shall we say China? Howdy. We're back. Again. Still haven't changed clothes. Uh, we're going to discuss a mouthful here. The Smoky Mountain Deer Farm Exotic Petting Zoo and Deer Farm Riding Stables. It's a lot. Um, so it is open year-round, seven days a week. Closed on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, pricing's pretty good. Adults 13 and up 13.99, kids 3 to 12 8.99, kids 1 to 2 99 cents, kids under 1 99 cents. And again, they have a coupon in the booklets up there for like a dollar off. Yep. And that's for like the entire yeah. group. I think it's limited one, to 12. Yeah, one coupon will cover your whole group unless you've got a very large group. So either way, one person gets in for free basically mm -hmm. just about um, so when you get there, um, you have to go through like a safety thing. They pretty much go over, uh, how to feed them, the animals there, um, what animals you shouldn't hold. Like there was a baby, uh, deer, mm -hmm. fallow deer. Um, four hours old. Yeah, four hours old due to the mom trying to pick up on the scents and get used to that. They didn't want anybody handling. Plus, she got a little aggressive. Um, people did not listen. No, please listen. If they're telling you these things, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like, just listen to them. Luckily, the mom wasn't aggressive, but the bonding may have been messed up a little bit. Maybe not. Um, and then after that, you go inside, you pay, you can get your, um, feed, uh, which comes in cups, uh, 32 ounces, $3.50, 22 ounces, $2.50, refills are half price. Um, have and apples. Yes. Apples, which was for the camels. Um, specifically, was it, was it, was it Rufus? Was it, I thought it was, was it Al. 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 I'll would. put his name in. <laughs> we'll just call him Mr. Rambunctious. Yes. Uh, he was an overeater. Mm -hmm. um, so he got put on a special diet. So they just went to apples for them. Um, the bunnies are apples only. And the reindeer was apples. Um, and they had a kangaroo. But you couldn't feed the kangaroo. Um, I want to see if I can figure it out. He was just kind of, the kangaroo was just kind of laid out in the sun like here I am look at me I'm glorious love me there was more than one but I only seen the yeah, one yeah I only saw the one definitely had a little bit of personality there um so there was Rocky Mountain elk uh, baby goats camels zebras and zonkeys emu uh kangaroo Vietnamese pot bellied pigs mini horses Draft horses, reindeers, mini donkeys, Watusis, exotic cattle, and much, much more. Some pheasants, 
Maybe there were some pigeons in there. Yeah. Um, it was fun. It was so. It was I fun. loved all the animals. Gabe did too. Mm -hmm. Our only our only concern with Gabe was he takes off. Like you guys have seen our other videos where we've had to put him on leashes and everything else, but it, he takes off. And I was afraid, like when he was in with the goats, that he was going to run and trip and fall and they were going to like herd to the fence to try to get food and he was going to get trampled she didn't luckily um but that was my only concern there was that i thought he was going to be overwhelmed but he wasn't like when we went in with the <laughs> fallow deer i mean they instantly surrounded us mm -hmm. and um he just hi deer yeah and hi goats um, and you can pick up the baby goats and yeah. like you can pick them up and hold them and yeah. they do ask that you don't feed them inside certain ones yeah like the was it the it was the goats only they, they if you, to you feed them from outside yeah which you could if you wanted them to jump up on you mm -hmm. but for the kids they really didn't want you to mm -hmm. um I, I liked it all. Mm -hmm. um, the only complaint I had was it was hot. Very humid. It was a hot day. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the deer and the elk both were growing their antlers for the season. Um, so they did ask that you didn't touch those because they didn't like it being touched during growth. Mm -hmm. um, so it's they were in the soft. velvet stage. And yeah, they said soft and spongy. Um, they're really cool. Um, yeah. The only one that really freaked me out was the the Watusi. Was that the one that mm -hmm. had the massive, the big, massive horns? Yeah, that thing. And he I went to sweet. pet him. He ram his horns into the fence. I think he's just misunderstood. I think his horns are so large. Yeah, I think it is too. That when he tries to get his head close to you. It rams the fence. Yeah. I don't think it's an aggressive thing at all. I no. think he's just trying to get close. And but he made me nervous. I I'll, I'll just I I'll petted him and fed him. And then they had the Highland cattle from mm -hmm. Scotland. Ferdinand. Mm -hmm. He looks like Ferdinand. <laughs> His little friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we didn't get to interact with, I was a little disappointed, was the emu. Mm -hmm. uh, which also freaked me out. There was a little baby a though, a tiny little baby one. Yeah. But there was a, a few people that kind of crowded over and they weren't leaving anytime soon. Yeah, they, they went straight to that feed. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the donkeys had some character. Mm -hmm. You walk by and they'd slap their hooves at the, the <laughs> fence to get you to feed them if you weren't feeding them. One of them in particular, he just he would just kick his little hoof. I guess yeah. the, the gate until you fed him. Yeah. Uh, the zebras, they did say that one of them was a little more aggressive than the other. And she's, she, she made the comment and she said, Gray's okay. She said, just remember, Gray's okay. But I fed, I fed both of them and they I weren't aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, we didn't get to interact with the bunnies. They were undercover. I think it was too hot for yeah, them. They were snoozing. And, of course, the kangaroo who was just chilled. Mm -hmm. um, everything else we interacted with. Yeah. Um, wish I could have spent a little more time. I wish I would have done it earlier so it wasn't so busy. Mm -hmm. um, or hot. Yeah. I would handle the heat if it wasn't so busy. Um, but it was good. And, of course, they have the riding stables there that mm -hmm. you can ride. Um, you can pay for a pony ride also uh, for yeah. the little for your littles. Um, There's a chicken out. You yeah, they do have a five dollar. Um, you walk with them like there's not someone who works there that guides them. You put your your child on the pony and you walk beside them around the loop. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind if you're afraid of horses and think somebody else is going to do it. They're not. It's it's on you. Mm -hmm. So. 
but I, I, I don't like to go back. Um, I hadn't. I went there as a kid. Um, field trips growing up in Survival. So we used to go there all the time. Um, I, I always enjoyed it. Of course, I, I don't. I think it's bigger now than it was then. I think they still have that same amount of land, but I don't remember a whole lot from it. Um, it's definitely a multi-trip kind of place. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a really good gift shop. Um, you can buy some of the antlers there. Uh, they have the fallow antlers, the elk antlers. Um, I think they had a reindeer antler in there. I'm not sure if I recall correctly. Which, by the way, was my favorite, the reindeer. He was, he was my pal. Yeah. They do seem to be pretty well taken care of. Um, as they did mention, they were um, losing their, their coat. Um, so a lot of people question, you know, why aren't you removing it, yada, yada, yada. They're not taking care of them. They have the mange. And it just wasn't the case. They were just shedding their, their coats. And they explained why they didn't just remove it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they were all overall in pretty good health. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, they are very serious about what they do there. They're very mm -hmm. serious about the safety um, of the animals and of the patrons. Um, but they are very uh, wildlife focused. Mm -hmm. um, they definitely care about. It. And they got a really cool story if you look on their website and kind of read about uh, them and how they got started. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, friendly place. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it for that trip. Yep. Oh, should have got their shirts. Yeah. Should have shown our shirts. We got shirts. Yeah, mine has a camel's face on it and it says I got slimed. <laughs> Not sure why she picked that shirt. Because I got slimed. <laughs> if you get close enough to those camels and you're feeding them apples, your hand comes away a little wet. A little bit. So. That's all of them, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Until next time, live the life you love.